games. Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. Farewell. Where did you come from? Let's go! Come on now. Oh, Dill Pickle should have been lunching today. Waste of words. Should have stayed with him. Move it. the city, but you're not scared, are you? <laughs> Look at this one. Gloom is a root seller, you are.
faster. Resource. Stock in all Novigrad. No need to push enough for all comers. Uh, no one to push. Very good. Manners before trade, always. Let me have a look. Temple Guard undercover. Call me an admirer of law and order. Made a mistake coming to this town then. You're making a mistake. Leave him alone. And if we don't. This man's not worth your efforts. His shop's drowning in debt. You're right. Even looks like a pauper. I beg to differ. Don't even know why I bothered the bugger. My apologies. Fare thee well. I, uh, gotta go brush me teeth. Go home, merchant. And try not to come round here anymore. I will. I, I mean, I won't. I, I mean both, yes. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I'm knackered. To you from Will I say it to me any of two guys right from I repeat, do not get in my way. The last individual who tried to come in on my business, it took them a month to find him. Am I being clear, Chief A? What's the fuss about? Can you not treat me as a bit of healthy competition? Why are you even talking to him, Duke? I've always maintained two smashed knees are worth a thousand words. Oh, get out! Glad you came. What's this about? Ugh, nothing. 
I just wanted you to meet my new pals before they bugger the fuck off. Because we were just parting, right? We'll have our reckoning yet, Chibe. Soon. What's this? Some flea-ridden mutant got you scared, Duke? Just say the word. I'll take care of him. Take a peek at what he's got inside, then make the midget eat it. Sound good? Next time, Earl. Let's go. Right. And don't show your hides round here ever again. Uh, well, that puts me up to the neck in fucking shite without the shovel. Shady, those guys. Who were they? Uh, puffed up fish bladders, Duke. Word does he's out to be the new horse son junior, but the bugger's missing a hell of a lot. Specifically coin, influence, men, and class. And the other? Errol. A scum jug like few others. Skin of my arse twitches at the sight of him. Back in Mahakam, we'd send so buggers like that down the coalface with a bundle of powder and a leaky lamp. What's this all about? Doing business with them? Exactly the plowing opposite. Is he, uh, Geralt, old pal? About to ask me for help, aren't you? The thing is, I sort of kind of owe a wee sum to a mutual acquaintance. Francis Bedlam, the king of beggars. To pay off the debt, I've made up my mind to get serious about Gwent. Getting better by the minute. Not the playing of it, mind you, but the cards themselves. The rarest of them fetch princely sums these days. Sadly, that's not exactly arcane knowledge. Got a buyer in heat for my collection, missing just three cards. But Duke's dregs are all over my arse, so... What do you say, Geralt? Fine. We'll try to hunt down those cards. Which ones you need? Fringilla, Vigo, Isengrim, and John Natalis. Devilish hard to get hold of. Duke's been trying too, hasn't had any luck. Wait, you don't even know where to look for these cards? Nah, it's not as bad as that. I'm betting Zed's got them. They quit fencing recently, only deals in cards now. Unfortunately, the arsewipe won't talk to me. Not after I bought a one-of-a-kind Scoyatel carved out from under his nose. Would you mind going to see him? Zed? Hmm, sounds familiar. Big fish in the card pond. There's a shop along the south wall. And thank you, Geralt. I actually think it's time to pay off this debt now. No problem. See you later, Zoltan. It's a woman's touch. Brained all of them. Temple oh. guard letting hey. the you into Watch the city. It. What was it happened to Faltest again? Inside and in hot water. Gotta find another way in. My wife's mum's an old succubus. Great. A 
must be Zed. Find it? No. Oh, Duke will be peeved we didn't get Zed to spill where he keeps the ledger. I tried, didn't I? Might have pressed him too hard. Shit. Well, at least we got the Isengrim card. Greetings. Time to shine! Get him! might be worth snooping around for. They were looking for something. 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 Hmm. Must be the names of people Zed sold cards to. Zoltan ought to have a look at this. Deliver us from a fail. I miss a woman's touch. Double shots. I'd give you a discount mm. for how it treats, but madam, well. Zoltan. Get out. Round of Gwent. I never refuse. Let's play. People.
thought I won. A right fucking shock, given your frankly amateur dick. Here, take this card. You need it. You can do well to fix your collection. It's downright porous. Don't need you bringing me shame a good dandelion for that. You might skim something off your mate, Roach. He's said to have good cards, that one. Hey, Paul. Zoltan. Geralt. You've been in town a while. Maybe you can tell me. Radovid and Demir. Why hasn't either taken the city? Excellent question. I believe I can clear the mystery up for you. War requires resources, wherewithal. Novigrad's a large port with a powerful fleet and a treasury overflowing with gold. All that makes it a tasty morsel. Tempting for both Redania and Nilfgaard. I understand. The city's walls are high. Its arsenals are full of weapons. Then you don't understand much. True, a siege be a long and grueling affair, but more importantly, everything that's valuable in Novigrad could disappear faster than a mayfly's dream. The big fours made it known that should things come to a head, the fleets flamble, and any assault on the city sure to touch off riots, during which the church's coffers could very well be looted bare. So, anyone wanting Novigrad's wealth, its ships, has no choice but to deal with its criminal underworld. What can you tell me about Novigrad's underworld? I've got one concept for you. The Big Four. Siggy Reuven, the King of Beggars, Cleaver, and Horse Son Jr. What do you call a triumvirate, but with four individuals? No idea. Well, there are four, and they've carved the city into spheres of influence. Nothing happens without them knowing about it and approving it. Rumor is Horse Son recently quarreled with the others, but I know nothing more. Novigrad doesn't seem like a safe place anymore. What's keeping you here? I was keen on starting my own enterprise, but nothing came of it. Nevertheless, I took on some debt. Got to pay it back now. I'd like to blame it on the war or human treachery, but the truth is I've got my own thick skull to blame. Rather not dwell on it, Geralt, if you don't mind. About those cards. You got them? Got the Isengrim card. Show it here. Ha! They say elves are beautiful. Zed give you much trouble? Zed's dead. I ran into his murderers. Won't cry over spilt Zed. What about the other cards? Didn't find the other cards. Fuck! Bugger must have sold them. Listen, got Zed's ledger. Show me. Hmm. Entries show him selling the cards to Caesar Bilson and Ravi. Eh, could have been worse. We need to pay him a visit. Who's Caesar Bilson? Cleaver's clerk. A decent fellow once, but so high and mighty now you can't drink with him, let alone go fishing. Fishing? We met at the Angler's Club, the pride of the Ponta. But Caesar don't show around there no more. So caught up in his new role, he almost never leaves his house. At least we won't have to run around town looking for him. Ravi, who's he? A common card sharp and a swindler. Boggles my mind where he got the coin for the Natalis card. Ever since I gave him a smack and things between us have been frosty, so you'll have to see him alone. Zoltan, seems awful important to you. I'll try to get you those cards. Thanks, Geralt. We can see Caesar together. Meet me outside his townhouse. Gaudiest eyesore on Hierarch Square. He had the facade painted gold. And if you want to see Ravi first, I'd look for him at the Golden Sturgeon if I were you. All right. See you later. And no need to pussyfoot around with Ravi. Beat him about the ears a bit. He'll cave. Well... Good luck to you, Geralt.
Now, witches, they can't catch the pox. Isn't that right? Slash right, slash left, slash the left guard donkey. When this is all over, I aim to open a hall in trouble in Brazil. A problem. With shaggy rugs on the walls and how you're off your bloody rocker. You're off your bloody rocker. You're off your bloody rocker. Geralt of Rivia, safe and sound. You play Gwent, Roach? Yes, but there's no one to play against here. If you've got a deck, pull it out. Good luck. Congratulations. Here. You earned the card. Know anyone else worth playing? I've heard of a man came through Novigrad recently. You might be interested to know he's also a witcher. Lambert, they call him. Old Lambert's a card sharp? Interesting indeed. Then I have a mate who's come up from the south. He likes cards. A rather refined player. But it seems he's better at being late. Wouldn't wait if I were you.
We'll pay for the free to best be worthy of the side oh. of the river. One false move. It's true you can. Ridden mutant, join us, please. Ravi loves company. Look how happy he is to see us. You happy, Ravi? Sure, he'd be happier if you stopped digging the point of that dagger in his back. Oh, you're just saying that because you don't know the situation. Our mutual friend Ravi was just about to play for his life. And you got the card. What else do you want? If you'd just given it up, instead of trying to cheat us, we'd be out of your hair already. As it is, that's all your fingers broke. So, it seems the Witcher will have to pay for you. Sound good? <laughs> See? Rav is on board. What do you say we add some spice to the game? Raise the stakes. Ravi's life and the Natalis card. Fancy that? Agreed. <laughs> and here I thought you'd be no fun at all. Let's play, let's play!
Yes! Curb your enthusiasm, mate. And sit still or you'll hurt yourself. But... But he won! So, now we'll play something else. You're Don't know how I'll repay you. The tallest card will do just fine. Oh, yeah. Uh, maybe you prefer some other? Got a whole array you might like. I'm in a hurry. The Natalis card, of course. Here. What's he doing here? Ah, you're here. How'd you make out with Ravi? Got the Natalis card. Excellent! Now we've just Caesar bills and to fleece, and we'll be home free. We'll do this. I'll chat him up while you sneak upstairs and search his cabinet of curiosities. It certainly keeps the camp there. Can't we just buy the card off him? Doesn't that sound simpler? If I had a coin to spare, I'd sod off to Povis. So he'd Caesar never sell Frangilla. But don't you worry. He won't lose out on the deal. Got a bottle of Mahakam and spirit for him. A taste of the Motherland's finest is worth more to an expatriate than some silly card. Thought you said Caesar doesn't drink. No. I said it's hard to have a drink with him on account of his rarely leaving home. Also, why he's like to get pished as a priestess real quick. Three rounds and you could walk out with everything in that cabinet while singing the three maids of Vigo Varo at the top of your lungs. So what's in this cabinet? Ah, no man knows. You'll be the first to see it. I suspect it's either to do with buggery or metallurgy. But you can tell me once we're done. Let's go. Chivi. She's our Belzen. I remember our quarrel about who's king of the Pontar. The Pike's king of the Pontar. Uh, well, you see, uh, I've come to convince you it's the catfish, and I do not come empty-handed. Who's he? 
Well, that's, that's Geralt. Does, say uh, Geralt fish? Yeah. Cast an earthworm the other day. Caught this huge perch. In the pond, You betcha. Can't listen to this hogwash sober. Come in! So what's the zanders or eager biters if they taste like shite and soapy water? That's because you're about as good a cook as a goat's arse as a clarinet. It just recently, I took some fresh thyme. <laughs> and it tasted like thyme flavored shite. <laughs> Shut it. So, recently, I, I took this thyme. Get out! Care to chime in? How Xander taste to you? Like shit. All right. Grab your rods. We're off to the Ponta. Can't let this drivel stand. Not in me own home. Well then, did you hear Vibo Matilda last cast a pea and caught a young pike? Ah, caught suckers lying like always. Ponter Pike aren't so dim-witted to go after his rotten peas. You need life bait. Or night crawlers, though the pike aren't as eager, don't know why. Once, dug up a crawly so fat and lovely I started drooling. Would have eaten it myself? Uh, I'm not so sure. Geralt, what are you and your pals use up at Caer Morhen? Bombs. How's that? <laughs> Both and heard many jests lately. Though, true enough, that one wasn't very funny. Get out! Go fetch us another bottle. Right. Can see the bottom of this one. So, when are we gonna go noodling for catfish? I'm done fishing with you. You forget what happened last time. What about last time? Shouldn't they have yanked so hard, you wouldn't have fallen in. It was the dwarves who popped Snow White's cherry. Fuck, sure, blame that on us too. Looks like it's attached to the tabletop. Drawer is open. Hmm. Triangular hole in the wall. Interesting. Hmm. Fits perfectly. Secret door behind a bookcase. Classic. set from which Emperor Amir ate during his coronation ceremony. Portrait of Emperor Amir, tempera on wood. Pretty flattering, I'd say. Full armor of the 7th Dareland Brigade. Excellent condition. Joachim Devet's skull. Hmm, pretty grim curiosity. Rope with which Stefan Skellen was hanged. Ah, 
Here's Fringilla. Statuette of a man. Wasn't carved, but produced using magic. Ought to ask Triss about it. Sultan, time we were on our way. Ah, I suppose so. It's grown late. Wait now. Leaving already? Where's that bottle you went to fetch? Greetings, Belzin. We've a message for you from the boss. Message? What kind of message? Mr. Cleaver's very unhappy. Uh, now, just a minute. If any discrepancies have cropped up in the books, I can explain everything. Too late. Grab him, and you two get lost. Leave him alone. Cleaver will pay extra for killing a witcher. Well, hop to it, lads. Haven't they got all day? Mr. Cleaver. I'd recommend a letter. Right. <laughs> Got a pack. Good luck then. Farewell. Oh. Ah, you've a soft heart after all, Geralt. Oh, by the by. Splendid job with that last one. Blood splatter nearly hit the ceiling. Looked through Caesar's cabinet upstairs. And? No wonder he wasn't eager to show it off. Nilfgaardian armor, a portrait of Emir. Joachim de Vet's skull, Vatier de Rideau's dagger, the rope they hanged Skellen with. Oh, oh, oh shit. Disgusting fellow. To think I shook hands with him. Uh, but did you happen to take the rope? I know a few would pay a tidy sum for it. Some go in for that sort of thing. No. Uh, if you say so. Also found a figurine. Nilfgaardian soldier. Magic spell on it of some sort, but I can't tell what kind. Triss ought to know. Good idea. Take it by your house when I get a chance. So, got the full set of cards. What now? Now we collect a shite load of coin for them. Let's go. The exchange. We should do it right quick. Afraid your client might change his mind? Oh, I'm more likely to. Had so many buyers for these cards, I felt like the bell of the ball. So the buyer, who is he? A friend of a friend. Don't know much about him, but he's of juke silk. No doubt about that. Hmm. You know me, Geralt. I'm not prejudiced against anyone. As long as they pay. Oh, I can't wait to get the King of Beggars out of my beard. Ah, at last. I fear the body's gone cold. What is this? Your would-be buyer handed us his coin and departed. More or less in that order. Now, the cards, please. I trust obtaining them wasn't too troublesome? Try it and find out. <laughs> You wish me to try? I'm not as foolish as Earl. You ought to know that by now. Get to work, boys. The dwarf I wish to have alive. I must have a chat with him. Doing it. Geralt, bastards get away with my coin. Damn it, with our coin. Chase the horse, son. I'll tend to the others. Not your lucky day. Go 
on, Geralt! After him! I'd only slow you down. What? I can't understand a word. Is that a thing? Something close? Who? No! Can't get away, Duke. Might as well stop. Surviving drowners? <laughs> you could use a witcher. Ha ha. Highly amusing. If... If I give you the coin, will you leave me be? Yeah, you can go, if you're able. Ha! Huh. What are my chances? With these wounds? Not high. So long. So, you get them? You get the coin? Yes. And what about Duke? Finish him off? No, I let him go. Oh, I knew I should have gone with you. You know he has it in for me. He'll be doubly determined now. Doubt it. Think he's likely to quit the business. If he gets out of there alive. Well, Geralt, what's your preference? Coin or cards? I'd never have managed without you, so you choose. If you want gold, it's not a problem. I'll find another buyer for these cards in a flash. Kinda curious how the cards might serve me. Excellent! I'll take the coin to the King of Beggars right away. Surprise the prick. Good luck, Zoltan. Thanks, Geralt. And remember, the catfish is the King of the Pontar.
What is a grey boy looking for adventure? She'll finally move in with him. High time. Geralt, I got a problem. Can we talk? Yes, Geralt? Look what I picked up. Come on. We have to decompress him. I think it's a soldier. We'll know soon enough. Come with me. I know a place where the walls don't have ears. Everything's ready. Let's get to work. Let's try to decompress this one. Anything I can do to help? Yes. Be quiet and try not to disturb me. Who are you? What's the last thing you remember? I remember a hill. A battle. I had orders for a unit. I remember a sorceress. Her hair like flames. She cast a spell. The right flank was to attack. Hit the shield bearers. The right flank didn't attack. And the sorceress was Lita Nade, known also as Coral. I was there too. This... this happened long ago. She said it. You're exhausted. Always happens with compression. Get some rest. Yes, I should. Once you've recovered a bit, you should find Ambassador Varatra. He's sure to help. Good luck. That was interesting. And exhausting. Oh, to fall onto a feather bed and sleep till... Well, till I woke. I'm warning you. How you go with this thing? I'm talking about minding my own business when suddenly up he pops and heals me. Hey. 
got the streets respect with ya. There must be order. She's wrong. Exactly what I plan to do. I've always dreamed of having my own cabaret. A bit of paint and plaster, and this place will do splendidly. Just one hitch. I need coin. So, if you happen to get a break between drowners and ekema jigs, maybe you can help an old friend out. How can I help you? I dated this girl once, Sophronia. That's a name if you can believe it. Has a merchant for a father, importer of spices from Zeracania. And Daddy Deer would never refuse his daughter Deer a thing. We can borrow the coin from her. Name rings a bell. Isn't this the woman you abandoned without saying a word? Stepped out for a bottle of wine, never to return? bought that wine for a reason. A long time ago, that. Been away a while, sure. Which is why I need to draw on your authority. You've got some, you know. No matter what you might think. Fine. Tell me what you want. Got a feeling you've a plan all cooked up. Sophronia could still be holding a grudge after our unfortunate parting. But with a touch of help from you, I know she'll forgive me, and then give me that loan. What's this help entail? First of all, we need to borrow a dull sword from Madame Harina, one of her props. You know, the kind they use during performances? Get that, then meet me outside Sophronia's house. Fine, but... Carol, the only butts in this plan will be the ones filling my seats. It'll work, you'll see. Get the sword from Madame Arena and meet me outside Sophronia's at sunset. Old man knew when left me a gift last time. What? He never given me nothing but floppy did he? <sighs> What's he schemed up this time? I haven't the strength, Geralt. Perhaps you can talk some sense into him. Something stinks. Decomposing flesh. Human flesh. Severed his artery. What are you holding? A key. Interesting. Kept running. Till he bled to death. It's a material world, and I'm a material girl. I've buried my old family. Hey, mate, someone invite you here? No. Followed a trail of human blood. So you found our pal Derek? Well, well, must have a good eye. After our little, well, falling out, I spent half a day looking for him. 
and all I got out of it was a stroll and some dog shit on my shoes. Soiled me fine as poolings. Snake skin. Take a gander. What are you gabbing for? Cleaver said it clear. Anyone finds our den, shove him between the ribs and drop him in the gutter. Think, Grun. Just once use your fucking melon. If the witch has found the body, he's found the key too. Can't open the drop box without the key. We don't open the drop box. Cleaver don't get what he ordered. Cleaver don't get what he ordered. He gets angry. You want that? <laughs> you think so? So, eh, uh, how do you me? You got two options. First, give us the key. I pay you for your trouble, and everyone goes their own way smiling. Second, make a fuss. You do what Kurt wants. Sit between your ribs. Fine. Here's the key. Now give me some gold. Ah, see that grin? Kindness works at times. Pleasure doing business with you, Jack. That's all. I'm warning you. Need something sharpened? What do you have on offer? So long. Quest. Need to borrow one of your props. One of the swords you use for stage battles. My. Whatever do you need that for? I don't know. But Dandelion claims it's essential. Oh, yes. I suspected Master Dandelion might have a hand in this. I certainly hope you don't aim to compete with me. Well. Thanks. I'll try not to damage it. So long. Baths are in soup. I highly recommend you visit. Ah, 
finally made it. Listen, here's the plan. Sophronia loves adventure-filled romance novels. I can be a hero in her eyes if I can just save her from a bandit. I'll have her eating out of my hand, and there's no way she'll begrudge me that loan. Want me to be the bandit? Knew you'd see the sense in it right away. Are you serious? That's your brilliant plan? I never called it brilliant. But any kind of plan is better than none. Written your lines already. You've written what? So you know what to say during the performance. Here, and your mask. Put it on. Sophronia can't recognize you. But... No time. Sophronia's coming. Stick to the plan. We'll meet at the Rosemary in the morning. Stop right there. What? What is this? Help! Save me! Tremble, flaxen-haired wench. And bow before the Prince of Thieves. Not so fast. Drop your sword, scoundrel. This is your first and last warning. Dandelion! Tis I! Though the scum of the city call me the Crimson Avenger. No, not the Crimson Avenger. Silence, vermin! You shall regret the day you were born. <laughs> I've been hit! Ow! To the house, quickly! He shan't get us there! Eternal fire, what do you want from us? Leave us be! This rogue will soon run off. I'm sure of it. He wouldn't chance getting caught by the guards. Would he? are insult. I highly recommend you visit. I'm gonna be a butcher when I grow up. Just hopped out for a smoke. Do you still like you? Seems they can't decide on a... There's been a misunderstanding. You're here too early. We agreed to meet today. So we've come today. Supplies are all hauled in and the crew's raring to work. We'll start just as soon as our lovely directress gets round to deciding on the decoration. But Dandelion doesn't even have the coin to pay you. Turns out he does now. Or soon will. At any rate, he's working on it. See? It's all peach. So will you finally decide what style you want for this interior?
<laughs> what are our choices? Master Dandelion said he was torn between boudoir style and theater decor. Promised to let us know his choice soon as we arrived. Now we are here, but no decision's been made. And the lady's horribly surprised she's to choose. <laughs> Though apparently this whole renovation's for her sake. For me? Well, it's not for me. Now, would you please decide where I bust a vessel? I've no idea what Dandelion would like. Geralt, you've known him longer. Say something. You're both stage artists, and cabaret's a form of theater. Interior should reflect that. A wonderful choice it is. At last. Gentlemen, you're done lollygagging. Get to work. Well, well. Guess this cabaret's the real thing. Ever since Dandelion inherited this place, he's talked about it constantly. I just never expected him to take action. And so quickly. Who knows? Might even settle down now. I'll have to keep an eye on the business. Who would have known? Despite what people say about him, Dandelion approaches life very rationally. We talking about the same Dandelion? Man who loses a fortune worth half of Novograd in one night? Dandelion can also be responsible. He always pays anyone who worked for him on time, and he's never missed a performance. Sure hope your opening won't be the first. He's still not here. Well, he said as soon as he got the coin, he'd go see Polly, our choreographer. She's missed the last few rehearsals. I certainly hope he's not gotten into trouble. Anything's possible with Dandelion. Let me see if I can't find him. and her half-brained fiancé. They're fighting. She's the only one in this town who knows anything about choreography, and that lummox won't let her work for me. Oh, oh, hold on. What are you doing here? We were gonna meet at the Rosemary. We were, but you didn't show. Priscilla started to worry, so I came to see how you were doing. Priscilla started worrying about me? That's so nice. Less for her than for you, I'm sure. So let's get back. Did you not hear what's going on in there? We've got to help Polly. Why do beautiful women always end up with such dicks? No idea. Stand back. I'll break the door down. Wait! Do we have to destroy her house? She keeps a spare key around here somewhere. Fine. Let's find the key. Not here. Find anything? Ah, the key. Whoa! What the devil's this? Get out of my ass! Watch it. And leave the woman alone. What the... She's my betrothed. But I'm not your property. I love her. I'll not let her sway her ass in his brothel. Whoa, slow down there a minute. This is clearly one gigantic misunderstanding. One I can clear up in the blink of an eye. Shove your excuses up your ass. Shut up, or I'll split your skull. My friend asked you nicely, so please be courteous in return and hear him out, or we'll settle this another way. Alright. Toke. Hubio, right? 
Polly's told me so much about you. She said you're erudite and have an open mind. You said that? Well, there's a truth to it. My mind's the open salt, but its open saltedness ends when my betrothed starts wagging her ass around brothels. Get out of here, both of yous. Polly's not going anywhere. Let him finish. There's no brothel involved. You see, friend, Geralt just hit the nail on the head. For what you have there is the old publicity placard. Old? Very. From a time when my establishment was under different management. I, however, would never let any indecency take place in my cabaret. My very reputation precludes it. So, what's all this about? Your betrothed is a first-class artiste, and I want to offer her a position worthy of her talents. She's to be my choreographer, and that in turn means she'll receive a share of the proceeds from every performance she choreographs. You mean to say, coin? And fame. No flirting required. You have my word. Oh. Suppose, in that case... I knew you'd agree. It's settled then. See you at the Rosemary, Polly. Well, I'm off. I'll catch up to you. Whew. Never expected that to go so well. You handled it well, Dandelion. Man was body in your hands once you called him erudite. In negotiation, as in combat, the key is to find your opponent's weak spot and exploit it to the hilt. So, time to head back? I've still got to stop by Rotlex. Commissioned some new placards from him a while ago, but Hubio came across the old version. Plowing artists got some serious explaining to do. I'll go see Rotlex. You head back to the Rosemary, or Priscilla will have my head. Really? You'd go? No, said that for the hell of it. Tell me where he lives. Portside. See you soon. Feast your eyes on my lovely baubles. Don't know that I'm gonna buy anything, but I sure wouldn't mind a few rounds of Gwent.
Looking for Rotlick. You ain't alone. Damn halflings in debt to half the city. But I'm here to scrape mine for the carcasses picked clean. It's not enough for everyone, so bugger off. Feeding times first come, first served. You're not gonna rob him. Strange, don't recall asking your permission. Get him, Fred! Pathetic. the vagal by the state. Rolnick's losing his last crowns at the races, I wager. Now get the hell out of here. They're stealing our work, those Temerians. Hey, you. Oh, 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 Seems you're a you Rotlick. Henri Rotlick, artist, painter, debtor, and martyr to my art. At your service. Dandelion sent me. Oh yes. Tell him his placards are done and safely hidden away. Yet, alas, I cannot fetch them, as a group of angry creditors has seized my home. Think I might have run into one of them. Then you know my predicament. Now, Count de Louverton has offered me the chance to win it all back. I need to wager on a race. Generous. Not just anybody could afford to do that. De Louverton is not just anybody. He's Duke Sam's youngest son. Sam of the well-known family of gem dealers. One debt more or less makes little difference to him. What's there to worry about? This is your chance to settle up, get a clean slate. You've had a spell of bad luck lately. Should I agree to the Louverton's offer and lose, I shall be in bondage to him for all time. Let's do this. I'll enter the race. You'll bet on me, win, pay your debts, then give me the placards. You're that good a rider. Far from the worst. Go tell the Count you accept his offer. It's gotten so I'm afraid to see the surgeon. Never know when they'll accuse him of witchcraft.
Slow now. Whoa. Thank you. I, I never expected this. May I ask to what I owe this generosity? Let's just say I like to do a good deed from time to time. Can we get those placards now? I'll bring them to the Rosemary in time. Just as soon as I settle my obligations. Fine. See you there. Uh, nothing hurts as much as that. Wash your hair, ladies. Before. Been Long live, run of it. You try returning by see what we those are killed. Hmm. Here to talk about the contract. Contract? Ah, yes. Put my mark to something of the sort. Seems a creature's attacking lonely passers-by, abandoning their corpses in gutters around Oxenford. Isn't that something you should look into? Perhaps, but we've a plow in war to win. I've got the time to clean gutters. Let's talk about the reward. Acquit yourself well and you'll not be disappointed. Redanian army's no band of scruffs. We can afford to hire a witcher. I see you've taken a more reasonable tack. We're finally getting somewhere, but it's still too much. I see you've taken a more reasonable... Very well. That I can pay with a clear conscience. I'll take the job. Need to hear some details. You'll learn everything I know. Like to examine the victim's bodies. A corpse is a corpse. I see the wounds might be able to tell what kind of monster killed them. Ask our saw bones. He'll know if the corpses have been burned or not. You'll most likely find him in the hut on the riverbank. Our impromptu morgue. Any witnesses to these attacks? Anyone see the beast? Some woman survived an attack. They say she's not been sober since. I'll try the tavern in Oxenfurt if you're willing to try talking to her. Won't give me any trouble with the reward, will you? Nah, I want this out of my hair.
Will you buy around for a victim of the beast? Tell me about the monster. How you were attacked. I'd need another bottle to get through it. I think you'll tell me everything I need to know. Bottle or no bottle. Yes. I will. I was leaving the inn that night. Might have had a drink or five. But I'm sure I wasn't hallucinating. Something down an alley called my name. In the dark. Couldn't see what it was, but it wasn't no human. Of that I'm certain. What makes you so sure? I just know. This thing grabbed the end of my skirt, but I broke free and ran. That it? You didn't see much. Don't believe me either, do you? Fuck you! Fuck you all! <laughs> you can learn a great deal. Safely in a pad of a dying. No bread, no coin. Or Are you rich? Greetings, Moss. Got a razor and sheep. So long. Stop staring, you'll jinx our work. You the medic? I'd like to see the monster's victims. Oh, yes. I've not had them burned yet. Must get to that. You've done autopsies yet? Intend to? Why would I? Beggars and vagrants. Every last one stinking of cheap wine. Mind if I have a look? In point of fact, I'd prefer you didn't sniff around. Gonna make me come back with a written order? Good grief. Pushy, aren't we? Here, the key to the morgue. Look all you want. sucked his blood. Vampire bites and the strong stench of alcohol. Just like the other one. If you were an old man, I'd die in Antonia. But you... Long live the king. Save me. I'm dying. The bracelet. Pretty worn. Silver under the gilding. Too big for a woman's wrist. Attacker lost it, most likely. Fondness for jewelry. Wounds on the victim's bodies. Everything suggests a catacan. Except this vampire likes the blood of drunkards. That's the way to lure it out. Mark, dangerous deal of a life. Oh, I remember you. What'll it be? Wanna get drunk off my ass, and it's gotta be on cheap wine. In trouble with the lass, or did your enterprise go under? Neither, just part of the job. I'll need you to pay in advance. Keep it coming. Once was a maid from Vicar Varro. Tight at night she did lose control. Yes, I did. Look at the 
another maid from the Jovaro, bowed with pleasure, drank with sorrow, till her. I can hear it. Yesterday. Drained to the last drop. Not an ounce of blood left. It's going to the hut by the river. Choked to death on three pounds of Ooh. Fuck. Hmm. Killed the monster that was murdering folk. Turns out a catacan was prowling the city. You speak true. But what on earth's a catacan? A higher vampire. Particularly interesting case, this one. How the hell could a foul beast be interesting? This one liked alcohol. Had a hugely inflated ego, too. What matters is you snuffed it out. Due some praise for that, Witcher. So long.
Long live eccentrics. Got so Come by the day, Gran. Gran dining tonight. Crown in the evening. A performance by the illustrious duo, Master Dandelion and Priscilla. We start in G major. Especially the, uh, accoutrements on the wall. What about Rotlick? Did you get the placards? Rotlick said he'd bring them on his own. Should be here soon. Great! The best way I can think of to promote the chameleon. Never mentioned wanting to change the name. Rosemary and Time wasn't all bad. But it conjured images of Temerian cuisine served by waitresses in peasant garb. Chameleon's a lot better for a cabaret, apart from which it emphasizes that the place has undergone a transformation. Just a better ring to it all round. What about choreography? Prepared anything special for the opening? We haven't. But Polly has. She's priceless. Came in and brought the girls in line before I could say knickers. I'll have the audience on their feet, on their knees, both at the same time. Guess everything's ready. So when's the opening? Soon. We start our dress rehearsal in an hour. I just need to knit back home for my dress. Thanks for everything. Don't mention it. Seems my cabaret dreams are about to come true. So, around to celebrate? I'm buying. Why not? That's my boy. The foreman mentioned he saw you and Priscilla talking. He's all right. And... she say anything about me? said something that made me think she's not entirely normal. What? That you're responsible, got your feet planted firmly on the ground. You're pulling my leg. Not this time.
One thing's eating me. How do you manage to get the loan from Sophronia? Oh, it wasn't easy. She got so excited about our performance, I had to read to her for four hours. Four hours from the cloak and the dagger. You mean you didn't... Are you crazy? Who do you think I am? She knew how important this night was to me. Of course she did. Probably just making herself gorgeous. Takes time to play. So it's true. A woman's vanity knows no bounds. <laughs> Master Dandelion! Priscilla! She's... What? Speak, man! She's badly, uh... been attacked! They, they took her to Vomerius Hospital! Attacked? She's... hurt? Geralt, come with me, please. Of course, let's go. Priscilla, is she gonna live? Well, I'd say that's certain. Her condition's critical but stable. I beg your pardon, but you are a relative? Relative? No, a friend. A very close friend. Dandelion, correct? She uttered the name in her few moments of lucidity. I am Joachim von Graz, head of surgery. Until recently, a lecturer at Oxenfurt Academy. Enough of the courtesies. What are her injuries, besides her eye? A concussion, cranial swelling, incision into her larynx, and scalding inside the throat and esophagus. Clearly someone forced her to imbibe a caustic fluid. So this was no ordinary attack, no robbery. Clearly not. It was the act of a demented mind, and not its first. How can you know that? I've seen wounds like this. They're not the kind one would forget, don't you agree? In fact, just this week a corpse turned up in a morgue with similar injuries. And no heart. No heart? You mean that might have happened to Priscilla? Is someone looking into this? This is Novigrad. Only the innocent burn here. Geralt, I know I owe you a hundred times over, but I need to ask you another favor. Find the bastard who did this. Find him. And kill him. Don't need any convincing. Come on, Dandelion. Let's think about what we can do. I... I would suggest examining the previous victim's corpse. It has yet to be autopsied. Doing so could very well provide some clues. No need to look astonished, gentlemen. As a surgeon, I know the importance of preventive medicine. Rather than wait for this maniac to strike again, I'd prefer to excise him. Not unlike a tumor. Think they'll let me into the morgue? By the main entrance, certainly not. But you can also get inside through the sewers. The sewers? Travel them often, Doctor? As often as required for, uh, the pursuit of preventive medicine. Alternative treatments. Aggressive ones, I'm guessing. Interesting. We can discuss this en route. Are you ready? Mm hmm Ready and intrigued. I'll get whoever did this, Dandelion. Even if it's Hierarch Hemelfart himself. Thanks. You need. So, preventive medicine you practice in the sewers. What's that about? Thick. Sewing up drowner victims can grow awfully tedious. Is it not better to nip the problem in the bud? I tried to get the temple guard to enter the sewers, alas, to no avail. So I took matters into my own hands. At no charge, you damned idealists. Hear that? Been hearing it for a while. Draw your weapon.
Show me what you got. Priscilla, how's it look? Give it to me straight, no sugarcoating. Her wounds will heal. It's her voice that concerns me. Surely you understand what a terrible blow that would be to a Trobrance. Enough to strip her of the will to live. Any remedy for that? I fear only your friend Dandelion can be of help on that count. Take the ladder. This is the place. Come, the quicker we take care of this, the better. Why? Got somewhere to be? Someone might disturb us. The coroner, for example. Or Reverend Nathaniel Pastori. Very well. We seek the corpse of a dwarven woodcarver. Just got to this one. Human, wrong body type. Let's keep looking. This isn't it. That's gotta be him. This one's a she. Remember, beards are no indicator of gender amongst dwarves. A dwarf, but the hands. Not a carpenter's. A banker's, more likely. Calluses on the fingers, sawdust in the beard, clothes sticky with sap. Must be our dwarf. Excellent. I trust you don't grow weak in the knees at the sight of blood? Not a bit. Start the autopsy. Where? Let's look at his head. Hair smells like it's burnt. Like he was in a fire. Notice anything else? That his eyes have been scooped out, for instance? Those burn marks I see in his eye sockets. Yes. And some grey dust. Ash, it seems. Very fine. Murderer gouged out his eyes, then put burning coals in the sockets. So it seems. 
Looking at the wounds, it appears our woodcarver was still alive when it happened. Let's examine the mouth. Burns, blisters. Just like Priscilla's. See this? Incision made into the voice box. Indeed, so thin as to be nearly unnoticeable. A small, extremely sharp instrument. Scalpel. Yeah, but why? The wound is too small to bleed, and there are signs of swelling. The murderer... I believe he performed a tracheotomy, so the victim wouldn't die too soon. Let's examine his torso. What have we here? Deep wound on the left side of his rib cage, and a scar the length of his stomach. Let's examine the chest wound. Yeah, heart carved out, wound cauterized. Wait a minute, there's something else. attended some lectures in herpetology as a student. I'm afraid I don't recall any amphibians that would lay eggs in corpses. So either Professor Cochrane was deeply mistaken, or this is our murderer's doing. Look at the scar. Wounds long and thin. An incision. But the edges are ragged. Means nothing. Look, no swelling, no bruises. An old injury, perhaps uh, an accident in the workplace. Open the abdominal cavity. A uh, due warning, it will stink of rot. Once fought a zoogle up to my waist in sewage, so I doubt... Wait. Smells not rot. Formaldehyde. A medical novelty. Heavily diluted, it's remarkable at preserving organic tissue. In stronger proportions, it's more destructive than acid. Explains why there's no smell of decay, and why his throat scalded. Look at his hands. These welts. Rope burns, right? He was tied up. I'd expect so. No one could sit through such torture unless bound. Speaking from experience? Yes, that of a victim. Spent a year in the dungeons of Tretagore. Long story. Some other time, maybe. See the callus? Our dwarf wore a ring, but someone took it off him. See anything interesting on his legs? His right foot, the ankle swollen, toenails broken. He clearly kicked something very hard right before he kicked the bucket. Doesn't strike me as the right time for jokes. Yeah, apologies, we surgeons, we've a different sensibility. Mm -hmm. And a different sense of humor. His genitals, we ought to inspect those. I sincerely doubt they bear any relation to the matter. We'll see. Pull down his trousers and... shit. Uh, syphilis, actually. Early stages. No sign of diffusion. Think there could be a connection? Only as the killer's potential motivation. All right. Think I know enough. Enlighten me, please. Because I've still no notion what this is about. What the motive might have been.
Sorry. Rather not share my conclusions just yet. I understand. For the good of the investigation. Will you at least share what you intend to do? It's a lead worth following. Any idea what his name was? Fabian Meyer. And I'm Hubert Reich, the coroner. I've come to perform the autopsy. But I see you've done it for me, Joachim. And as always, you interfere where you're neither needed nor wanted. Drag others into trouble in the process. Who is this? A student. Lifelong learner. Got a couple questions for you. Very well, speak. But be quick. Reverend Nathaniel has come by for an inspection. He'll be here shortly. You old friends. Hubert taught me the rudiments of medicine. Long ago. And not very well. You've still not mastered certain basic principles. For example, that a doctor's role is to treat the ill, not save the world. You've not changed a bit. A compliment? No, a statement of fact. Thirty years, and you've not changed a bit. Woodcarver's body. Where was it found? It's important. Plan to investigate? Exciting. He died in his workshop south of the Market Square, just beside the gate of Far Corners. That poor Trebirates was attacked there. City's a buzz about it. But the woodcarver, Eustace the corpse collector, brought us the body. You should speak to him. Saw him just around the corner, near... Oh, greetings, your reverence. Who are these people? I believe I made it clear no one's to be allowed in, under any circumstances. You did, but they're friends of the deceased. Here to collect the body. Out of the question. Show them out at once. As your reverence wishes. Gentlemen, follow me. You shall leave via another route. Why do you cover for us? I was covering my own ass. If Reverend Nathaniel had learned someone had entered the morgue, then cut open a corpse without his permission, I'd be in deep trouble. But you didn't give that a thought, did you, Joachim? As ever. Well, while I don't approve of your willfulness, I also wish to see this murderer hang. So, should I learn anything new related to this case? I will let you know. Hmm. Thank you. Nathaniel, who is he? A scoundrel, a rogue, like every man who wears the robes of the Eternal Fire. Most are scoundrels before they ever put on the robes. True in his case as well. Before he donned the frock, Nathaniel was a torturer, delighted especially in torturing women. Later, Hierarch Hemelfart appointed him to oversee the morgue. He deals with the Temple Guard, supervises cremations, conducts funeral masses in the Temple on the Isle, and so forth. Hmm. Dream job. Might have told me you know the coroner. We could have skipped the trip through the sewers. I know him, thus I avoid him. I've said enough on the subject. Don't aim to press you. Thank you. I have nothing to hide. It's just an old wound, unhealed as yet. What will you do now? Plenty of leads. Woodcarver's workshop, the corpse collector who found him, alley where Priscilla was attacked. Got work to do. As do I. At the hospital. I must return there. But I shall keep my fingers crossed. And I'll keep my eye on you. like a racehorse. Bloody bandits! Ah. Can't go out in the streets no more! At least before they didn't use to kill women. You, Eustace, the corpse collector? I. How'd you know? Fourth sense, I think it is. You bring Fabian Meyer's body to the morgue. Fine. 
Oh, yeah, I remember. <laughs> no ice, no art. One of them, right? No purse neither, as I recall. One of them? So there have been other bodies like that? <laughs> sure have. Beggars, street urchins, and street walkers. <laughs> One went so portly, I had to cut her into pieces to fit her in me wheelbarrow. Slippery sow, they called her, on account of the... Some things are best left unsaid. What happened to the pieces? What do you mean? Reverend Nathaniel ordered them burned. Every last one. Oh, shame that was. Shame? Why? Actually, never mind. Another thing that's best left unsaid. You search Fabian's body? Whoa. I, uh, cast an eye in his pockets. <laughs> Made sure nothing went to waste. I call a spade a spade. You rob corpses. And I call a prick a prick. It's none of your fucking concern. What, you tax collector? Peace off, mutant. Tom, what did you find on him? I, uh, I had you wish. Triflings, baubles, glass beaded wing, handful of coins, and a letter. Look, vellum. Quality parchment, that. <laughs> I'll wipe off the right inner cell it as new. That's human skin. Priscilla, next victim's name. If you'd given this to the right person, she might not have been hurt. <laughs> what the fuck do I care what happens to some Priscilla? We sure are wenches in this town. Get out of my sight. Now. What happened here? Monsters must have run them down. There's swarms in the city now. Yes, they are, Mark. I'm sorry. Help a poor bloke out. Eternal fire. Anyone home? Be gone, or I'll set me hounds on you. Molly, Striga, come! Relax, I'm here about Fabian Meyer, looking for his killer. That's altogether different. Set your stupid much lay down. Morning, morning. Slowly now, lest they bite you. Charming as beasts go. You daft. Even I'm scared of them. A better barking dog than an evil man at your door. Got someone particular in mind? Sure as shite. Bugger who did Fabian in. As soon as they'd hauled his corpse off, I run to a meat or is his fighting dogs. Bought these two mutts. Cost me a chunk of change. But I sleep sound at least. So who might you be? The Steph's brother. Gus is the name. We ran a workshop together. Meyer and Meyer. Hmm. What'll it be now? Just Meyer? Name it. I'll be closing it down now. As soon as I find a buyer for this shack, I'll head on to Mahakam. Be near my family or what's left of it. So, what do you want to know? What can I tell you about Fabian? Tell me what you know about the murder, in order, in detail. It was like this. I had some work in Oxenford, and I was coming home. Saw a plume of smoke rising over the city. Thought to myself, blast it, gonna miss him burn another hag. But the smoke wasn't coming from Hyrax Square. It was coming from here. See the soot stains? That's where they burned our sculptures. Folk gathered around the blaze, and found Fabian here beside it. They'd already loaded him on the cart by the time I arrived. Talk to your neighbors. They see anything suspicious beforehand? Hear anything? Claim not to. But even if they had, they'd not have helped. They know they had folk give bleak orphans in the street a wide berth so as not to stain their poor lanes. They killed us some dwarf. Your brother have any enemies? Anyone dislike him? Threaten him, maybe? It was Fabian who threatened this one last. Oh, you were a good dwarf, a craftsman like no other. But he was an incorrigible whoremonger as well. 
Whenever we put a bit of coin aside, I'd say, let's buy some tools, quality timber. No, he grabbed the purse and head out whoring. Took to following one in particular. He'd say, it's all your fault, dirty bitch, human dish lag. And other obscenities. Don't rightly know what that was about. Maybe he was in love with her. Know where I can find her, this dish rag? City Cemetery. She died a few days back, quietly in her sleep. Her pont said a fever took her. Fine, we've talked enough. Need to look around. Be my guest. Just beware of the dogs. Bloodstains. That's where Fabian lay when they found him. something heavy. Statues. Or a corpse. Mind if I go inside the workshop? I've not even peeked inside since... since they found Fabian. But I'll open it for you if you want. wants to see you. Been another victim. Told me to say the main door will be open for you. You're to come as soon as you can. Oh, hey, Dandy. Oh. What do you want? Hey, handsome. gonna hurt you. What are you doing here? Getting vengeance. Well, why are you staring? Have you not heard killers always return to the scene of their crime? Me and my brothers are waiting here to give him a warm welcome for Priscilla. Almost did her in the whole sun. I know. Here to look for clues and find anyone who might know something. Fear I can't help you much. 
but I can tell you what I know. You and Priscilla friends? Friends? Nah. But she saw more than a stupid whore in me. Treated me with respect. It mattered. I was looking to give up whoring. Pick up a decent trade. But none would take me. Not as a washerwoman, nor a servant, nor a cook. I felt like a leper, I did. But Priscilla, she was different. Agreed to put me in her play, you see? Lots of the other actors, they were afraid on account of her jesting about the eternal fire. Whistling Wendy on stage, can you imagine it? Her dream's gone now. I'm back to work in street corners. Sorry to hear that. You could do worse as work goes. Or so I tell myself. Priscilla wasn't the sole victim. You aware of that? Oh, dearie. Of course I was. This didn't start yesterday. Others have died like this before. Beggars, street girls, orphans. But who'd have a drama concern about them? Human rubbish. It's what the guards call us. Recall any names? They didn't have proper ones. Baldy, curly, buns. That's what folk called them. No friends, no families. Their bodies were burned long ago. Take care now. I gotta look around some more. Appreciate it if you didn't disturb me. Naturally. We'll stand aside, behave. But do tell us if you find anything else here. Oh, my head's ringing. A brazier. This time of year? Watch it, Tran. No, Human. Priscilla's. Man's footprint. The murderer's, maybe. Weighed on his heel. Took a step back. I know that smell. Formaldehyde. So? What is it? Take care now. And I got a murderer to catch. Geralt, right? I'm glad you're here. Held off on the autopsy till you arrived. Nice of you, especially given you didn't seem pleased about my previous visit. Because you came unannounced and in unfortunate company. I also had Reverend Nathaniel to contend with. Our spiritual caretaker has left the city on some important matter. And I know who you are, what drives you. I'm more than happy to aid your investigation. By the way, you and Von Gratz don't exactly get along. Why is that? I had him sent to prison. You see, Joachim led the student protests in 1242. A senseless and brutal revolt. People were dying, Witcher. Those who rejected liberty, equality, and fraternity would be found in the gutter come morning. Their throats slit from ear to ear with surgical precision. Joachim had been my favorite student, but alas, I had to do something. So I reported him. Then I left the university and found work in the morgue, where none care about my past. Whereas Joachim, oh, fate's ironies. Years later, he was appointed head of the very ward I had founded. Choosing the lesser evil can be hard at times. Happen to know a thing or two about that. 
In that respect, this work has its benefits. I couldn't possibly hurt anyone here if I tried. Who's the victim this time? Joris Aquinas, a lecturer in theology at Oxenfurt Academy. Found this morning at his home on a catafalque made of his books. Any titles in particular? It seems all the tomes dealt with the eternal fire. Treaties critical of the faith's doctrines. Yeah, mortal sin in Novigrad. Not fond of Nathaniel? Very few people are. He's cruel and capricious. He stormed in here once, grabbed a scalpel I was sterilizing over a burner, sliced my back with it to the bone, because I had forgotten to lock the storeroom. Hard to be fond of someone like that, wouldn't you agree? Let's start. Gladly. The wounds conform to the killer's modus operandi. The victim was bound and forced to drink formaldehyde. Next, the killer removed the eyes, placed burning coals in the sockets, then opened the rib cage and... What's this? A parchment. Made of human skin. A message from the murderer. The name of his next victim. Patricia Vagelbud. Gods, he knows no bounds. To attack Lady Vagelbud, heiress of such a prominent family. Where is she? Tell me. She resides in an estate beyond the city, north of Oxenford. Gotta find her, now. Till next time, Master. Non human, I am. Look at that new race. You're a bigger rat picker than me. Help pull back out. Eternal fire. I can't find the shots. Double shots. Another drifter in from Tamaria. Told him not to stick his arse where he don't belong. Come on, Roach. Need to talk to Patricia Vagelbud. You think any bum off the street can... Her life's in danger. Let me in or have her blood on your hands. If you thought this up, and I'll let you in, we'll throw my ass out the door. Always thought a guard was supposed to protect his charge, not his ass. So be it. I'll take you to Lady Vagelbud. Just no trickery. Understand? Yes, good fellow? If it's work you seek... Don't know that I'm all that good. Name's Geralt. Looking for Patricia Vagelbud. Her life's in danger. In danger? Come now. I saw Mother this morning. She seemed sad, true, but in perfect health. I'm hunting a serial killer, and I've got reason to believe your mother will be his next victim. Why, even if it's true, our guards... He's exceptionally cruel when he kills, tortures his victims, cuts out their hearts. So let's see how she is, just in case. 
I find this all very hard to believe. But you appear to be quite serious. Please, follow me. A fire fit for Bellatane. Except it's the wrong time of year. I mentioned Mother seems sad. Do you remember? In fact, she's in the midst of a crisis of faith. A rather serious one. We'd been to Novigrad. Mother had seen the pyres in High Rock Square, but had not a word on our way home. She had all the holy books in Signia's reliquaries gathered, taken outside and burnt. Then she locked herself in her room. We need to hurry. Wait here, please. Mother's certainly not in the mood for guests. Between your eyes. Listen, you got the wrong guy. Save your trickery, taking you to the heiress. <sighs> well, killer's already escaped. Lead the way, hero. We got him, Lady Ingrid. Wasn't easy, but lower that crossbow before you hurt yourself. This man is innocent. Forgive me. I saw him running. For it was the killer fleeing. I was chasing him, and I'd have caught him if you hadn't gotten in my way. Out of my sight, at once! Mother! Why did he do this to her? Why? I don't know. Too early to draw any conclusions. Ingrid, I know this is a hard time for you, but usually the killer leaves a note on the body, a note indicating his next victim. May I? Very well. But you should be on your own. I do not wish to see her in this state. I do not wish to remember her like that. And let her be the last victim. Please. Broken fingernails. She defended herself. Must be why it took him longer, and why he almost got caught. Here it is. Sweet Nettie. Crippled Kate's. Growing bolder. Not just the name, but the place, too. Won't get away this time.
another empty formaldehyde bottle. Same wounds as the previous victims. Examination would be a waste of time. Gotta get to crippled Kate's, fast. Upstairs, but she's with a very important client. Do not disturb them. I can see it in your face. Any needs, Master? This life. Sometimes. <laughs> no one will hear you, bitch. Not a soul. You though. Whole town will hear you in a minute. Yet again you disturbed me, and I so dislike being disturbed. I was to play with sweet Nettie, render her not so sweet, but I shall see to you first. First, gotta tell me why you do it. For pleasure. Satisfaction. <laughs> Achievable with whores in a lot of ways, many traditional. Doesn't take killing them, trust me. Who said anything about killing? I could stop at a few burns. Third degree, but still. Mm, this rosy skin will roast quite well. Spare me your lies. I've seen your victims. I know how they end. You don't stop. Not unless someone gets in your way. Like I'm doing now. What the fuck are you on about? Murder. You killed Fabian Meyer. Patricia Vagelbud, and many others. Bollocks. You're mistaken, vagrant. Found a message on Patricia's body. Led me here to crippled Kate's. To sweet Nettie. If you didn't leave it, who did? I don't know. But I see we must talk. Calmly. Who knew you'd be here? Strangely enough, I don't announce these outings far and wide. There's but one man who... That, that's impossible. He treats even corpses with kid gloves. The coroner. Said you were busy, that you wouldn't visit the morgue. Gotta go after him. Go. But to Warehouse 12 at the docks. He's there this time of day, procuring supplies. Formaldehyde. I shall stay here. I've unfinished business with sweet Nettie. After all, I paid in advance. You'll untie her, drop your coin pouch on the table, then leave here and never come back. Yes, I will. Good boy. 
This lie. I've had enough of living. <laughs> ah! formaldehyde. I underestimated you. You almost caught me in flagrante delicto. Now you've seen through my bluff with Nathaniel. Although, you've not divined all, I see. Had you, you would have drawn your silver sword. Who, what are you? A vampire. Higher, of course. A reason for killing? A reason to torture? Hmm. I thought you'd figure that out as well. The symbolism's rather obvious. Coals for those who are blind to the fire. The egg of a salamander born of fire to replace their cold, doubting hearts. Fire down the throat. That... Yeah, symbolism's clear. What's not is why a vampire would kill in the name of the eternal fire. Should be equally obvious. I concur with the Church's diagnosis. Novigrad is a fallen city. Its population amnesiacs to the very concepts of decency and morality. So I decided to remind them, in a manner they'd be certain to notice. You're a sick fuck. I never expected you to understand. You're a cynic and an opportunist. I sensed it from the start. Ah, well, this conversation has grown unpleasant for both parties. We must move to the next item on the agenda. I last fought a Witcher two centuries ago. I do hope I remember how it's done. And you? Have you faced one of us? No, you couldn't have. You would not have survived. Show me what you got.
Material world? Now the material world. Ah, what? You'd normally uh, pay for that. Uh, uh, <laughs> Will I? Oh. Oh. What's this about? This Dwan sold Fistek to some young elves. A contaminated batch that killed every other user. Lies. They mean to kill me, steal my gold. Help me, please. What you sold was poison. Shame you weren't there to see the young lad and others expire amidst spasms. You, all of you, to an elf. You despise humans, seek vengeance on us. But can you fault us? Fault me for your civilization's downfall? Shut your mouth, Poisoner. Don't see any proof this man sold anyone Fistek, let alone contaminated powder. Can't let you kill him. Then you too shall die, Batgirl. Shame you happened on our path and chose to stand in our way. Never fight a witcher. <laughs> Thank you, Witcher. Bloody elves, they'd invent any excuse to rob me. Please take this, a sign of my gratitude. Ah! Ah! 
classic grey boy looking for adventure. How's better? Right? Y yes. Did you take care of what I asked? Yeah. The witch's way. Thank you, Geralt. For me and Priscilla. Did my part. Your turn now. Take care of her. Good care. I will. You'll see. Treat her better than the dryads of Broccolon could. She's talking again. Nice surprise. Isn't it? Professor Von Gratz told me her wounds are healing faster than a troll's. Not the most flattering comparison, but encouraging. Maybe she might even sing again someday. For now, we'll try performing as a duo. She'll play the lute, I'll sing. Dandelion and Kalanetta. Got a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Sounds great. Good luck, Dandelion, on stage and off.
Another drifter in from Tamaria. Why is your hair so grey, darling? Been thinking. Now who started this war? You've got a course. Those are one of the violations. Sick of it. Hey, not like that. Geralt, I got a problem. Can we talk? Yes, Geralt? Feel all right? Hmm, so so. Why do you ask? Been wondering. How's your hand? Your fingers? They'll heal. Listen, it was my idea. I knew exactly what I was getting into. Don't need to worry about me. Maybe we should talk about something else. Gladly. I was about to ask the same. What did you want to talk about? I got a strange message. I don't quite know what to think. Who was it from? Ingrid Vagelbud's servant. Apparently, Lady Vagelbud's prepared to donate a tidy sum. She wants to help mages escape from Novigrad. Guessing this wouldn't be a selfless act of charity. You guess right. And that's my problem. Bagelbud needs a favor from me. No details in the letter, unfortunately. I'm supposed to meet the servant at the fish market. Says he needs to explain everything face to face, but these days I can't be sure meeting him's a good idea. What are you afraid of exactly? That it's a trap. On the one hand, it's an opportunity I can't afford to let slip. We need the coin. On the other... Nobody expects you to risk your life. I expect that of myself. The thing is, it used to be easier. When I didn't know what happens when the witch hunters get their hands on you. You could have escaped at any time. I know, but I was still terrified. What if they fetter me in real Dimeridian? You won't always be there to help. Don't like this at all, but you seem determined. Not about to let you deal with it alone. Thank you. The servant. How are you supposed to contact him? Said I'd recognize him. He'll be in a blue tunic, have a load of keys strapped to his belt. I'm supposed to ask him about the price for his trout. Gotta be kidding me. He tell you to come holding a red rose? He doesn't mention flowers. But I won't refuse if you feel like giving me some. It's a fish market, Triss. Be able to get you some salted cod at best. Think it'll be better if I talk to the mystery man in the blue tunic. He's expecting to meet me. You just wait nearby. I'll make sure that note didn't come from the witch hunters. Then you come in. Mm-hmm. Fine. Let's meet there. Yeah, no. Oh, 
on trout perhaps but it wasn't you I was to meet sir want to talk to the letters recipient I gotta be present caution would advise cautions advising you not to argue right now trust me seems I've got no choice come with me this way it's not far looking to make some coin too hey First time I've laid eyes on him. Maybe. Well, recently someone's been trying to question our messengers about the young Count. Hold on. Where's Miss Merigold? You would come alone, Miss. If not for him, that trio would have dragged you in for questioning. The tall one was Valdo Morris. Works for the witch hunters. Aye, you're surely right, Miss. I it, it just weren't what I expected since Lady Bagel Bud. Now that we're past the initial courtesies, maybe you can tell us who you are. Lady Vagelbud's valet. I... I meant you no offense, sir. Why wouldn't Lady Vagelbud meet with me personally? She was afraid they'd follow her. Been a nervous wreck of late. So what's this about? Be straight. Lady Vagelbud's son. He's the... problem. Master Albert's taken an interest in alchemy. Temple Guard's gotten weak. Wouldn't worry about the guard. But since the mage hunters tried to grab you, I'd say Albert's in serious trouble. Aye. Lady Vogelbud bought off the guardsmen. Since the hunters paid for every mage revealed to him... Guardsmen took a bribe from the frightened family, then whispered a word to the hunters anyway. How'd Ingrid Vogelbud know to contact Triss? That Triss was the right person? We learned Miss Merigold had helped Myra Base disappear once the witch hunters were onto her. Myra provided Lady Ingrid with magical assistance on a few occasions with Milady's um, afflictions. Makes sense. Myra mentioned treating a highborn lady to me once. Seems Albert needs to disappear as soon as possible. I can arrange that. Think young Vagelbug can slip out of the house unnoticed? Tain't that simple, sadly. Master Albert's in hiding at the Vagelbud's country estate. Lady Ingrid's got the notion she can get him out quietly. Want to throw a lavish masquerade ball. Am I supposed to attend? Help him escape? I will not manage without you, miss. Lady Vogelbud fears the help's being watched. It's a good idea. A boisterous bash. That'll distract the hunters. Especially if even half of what I've heard about the Vogelbud's balls is true. Word is, at the last one, they served a hundred different desserts. And the fireworks boomed from dusk till dawn. What with the war and all, Milady's ordained but 85 desserts this time. Won't be no candied petals of blue roses from the Zaire. The roses have become dreadfully hard to come by. Oh, I'd love to see it all. Has Ingrid recovered from her mother's death? How'd you know about that? Took an interest in the matter. Well... Lady Ingrid didn't allow herself to demonstrate any weakness. At least, not in front of the help. Master Albert's safety is what matters to her now. Hope we won't have to stay till the end. You're coming with me? Of course I am. Not about to send you into what could prove to be the lion's den by yourself. Think about it. 85 desserts. While you're still trying to keep your waist at 22 inches. Geralt, please. How do we get to the residence? Your invitation. Take it. The guard at the gate will have instructions for you. You're to wear a fox mask, all right? Good luck to you. Think we can head there now? You're kidding, right? We have to prepare. Change clothes. Most importantly, buy our masks. I bet you can get everything we need for the ball at Ellie House shop. You know it? 
Been there before. Eliel's a friend of Dandelion's. Just masks, right? Probably don't need to wear a doublet, do I? A doublet, Geralt. And it's not up for discussion. Take care of that, then come and see me. Another drifter in from Tamaria. Son, lost me wife to dysentery. You've got to bury your loved ones at least. Greetings. Come to look over my spring collection, perhaps? Glad to take a glance at what you got. Of course, please do. If anything chafes or pinches, I can alter it on the spot at no charge. Once I'm done, it'll feel like you're wearing nothing at all.
and all the easy to find witches already. I could use it. Help! Save me! In I'm short, dying! Who kisses your ass today? What right village are you from? Willows. It's a tiny area to those roads. Oh, oh fuck. Now you. certainly took my request to heart. I mean you weren't being serious? Still got time to change. Don't you dare. You look great. You get everything? Learn anything else about Albert? Well, almost none of the mages have heard of him. An amateur, I guess. So why the interest? Temple guards first, then hunters? Uh, he's easy prey. And that's exactly why we should help him. Everything's ready. We can go. A shame events like this are so rare. Without them, I'd never get to see you dressed up. <sighs> Damn, doublets chafing my armpits. And it feels like they sewed wires into this. I'll be sure to admire your valiant suffering the whole time. Well then, shall we go? Greetings, my lord, my lady. We're Lady Ingrid Vagelbud's guests. Your invitation, please. Rules in order. You'll find Lady Vagelbud in the estate's yard. Look for the parrot mask. Uh, one more thing. Uh, leave your swords here, please. Fine. A pleasant evening to you both. Beautiful here. I haven't been outside the city in ages. But how could he? With that scrawny harlot. Come now, don't cry. After all, he's not the only man in the world. But he's a baronet. Where will I find another baronet? I'm in no mood. Hello. No one's pretending you don't know me. Is that any way to treat an old mate? Refuse to acknowledge him? There's been a mistake. I don't know you, sir. Don't be foolish, Vivian. I'd recognize that mane anywhere. You might play the great dame now, but before that Baron Edward something pulled you from the gutter, you were a common... Enough. The lady said she doesn't know you. Who's this? The new one? Older than the last, it seems. A decrepit, moss-covered prick. So, the less they can, the more they pay. Is that it? Let's go, Triss. Wouldn't want to make a scene. Vivian! Hey! Oh, I liked you much better when you worked the carriages outside the passive floor. What a jackass. I'm not done with you. Oh, for a riff. It never rains, does it? It pours. Radovid's not a whit better than you. It might even be worse. Good day.
Oh, oh, oh. Rabbits away. make you throw Which these the kind of balls more often. The games you want to see. Mock a witcher just once and you're done. <laughs> when I catch little Miss Clementine, what then, eh? What then? I'll beat your mangy snout, that's what. Please leave me be, sir. <laughs> Ooh la la! The little miss is a minx. She is a minx. So many guests. Unhand me, sir. I could be your daughter. They the pretended not to know her. I'm ready. Can you imagine? Oh. A poor girl. Been to Vizima. <laughs> the word is, it's more like a pit sky than a cat. Radovid's not a whit better than a near. Might even be worse. Well, well. Mark my words, I'll kick him out. There's nothing I could for. Oh, my, is he ever sorted? Breathe. Looking for me, sir. Dreadfully sorry. I bid you a cool farewell. Join you? And just who would I join? Your friends, among others. Once we've all gathered, I'll lead you. You will lead? Forgive me, Marigold, but that is like allowing myself to be led by a lame duck. Farewell. Who is that? He's an old friend. His name's Moritz Dyfenthal. Tell you the story later. Oh, let's look around. Gregor, have you seen Durgoff just a moment ago? Oh. Apologies, I mistook you for my friend, sir. He wears a similar mask. General Voris. Geralt of Rivia. So, I was not entirely mistaken. Pleasure, as always. This is... A beautiful and mysterious lady. Let us leave the formalities to the event's end, when all will remove their masks. More fun that way, wouldn't you agree? I would, sir. And now I must beg your pardon. I really must find Durgoff, and quickly. A lovely evening to you both. Looking for me, sir. Dreadfully sorry. Will you make it to the village? Ah, another challenger. Please join us. Sir Devonan just vacated his place at the table. It's rather unlikely he'll be back. What happened to him? Some good men took him aside to prevent him from hurting himself. So, how we play? First, you shall face Margrave Vladimir de Cray. The man can afford to lose, so he's likely to be reckless. Let's do it.
One more round. When the cards come your way, you must spring on the opportunity. Your next opponent, Count Gomu Sealy. In his day, his father lost the family estate in the Nimna Valley. Seems Gomu has followed in his footsteps. Yet, do not underestimate him. Desperate men can be dangerous. Let's do it. One more round. When the cards come your way, you must spring on the opportunity. Sir Marius Florin. They say he never loses thanks to his Zugelbone amulet. Naturally, I could tell you more on the subject, but... Let's do it.
lovely lady, clearly when you love her. Hold her, keep her, never let her go. Ah, now she was a Time to invest in new beasts. This so, oh, oh, boy there. No, I'm not interested in making a cast. Not in my vision. Never seen a sad man. What a witch! Chance. <laughs> Good one. Cemeteries are full of men who thought old Joel would give them a second chance. Siggy, I'll be. Geralt! Damn it all. How do you recognize me? Your voice, unmistakable. Oh, yes, those famous witcher senses. Finally getting some use out of them. And who's this creature with you? May I be introduced? Hey, Reuven. It can't be! Is that the lovely warble of my favorite accomplice? Well, we've jested and laughed, but I have a sense you're in a hurry. Really? You know, Geralt, somehow I dislike running into you at parties. My bones start to ache, as if bad weather were approaching. She wore a top mark to the last ball. Can you imagine? Oh, her mother says the girl has a single sense of humor. If you ask me, she's batty. Stuffed peacock tongues. Oh, they inevitably give me gas. Eat up, dear. Oh, no one will notice still here. Show. He's made some enemies. How dare you! Turn to Joel, finally. Must have thought he'd get a second chance. <laughs> Breathe. Oh, I told you what, I was the monk. There's a laundry oh, in the far you. corners. Did you know? They'll wash your clothes. Lake was so I've heard ballads about you. So, how goes it? No one has yet. Then I shall return later. A colossal spoon. But our hunting hounds oh. are simply the best. A witch I do so. Turn on yes. fire, have mercy. Is that you? Geralt of Rivia? And Triss? I did not see you on the guest list. Baroness, we're here as friends of the family. As am I. Yet my name was there, at the very top of the list. Not at all surprising, my lady. These courtesies grow tiresome quickly. Why are you here? I think you should ask Lady Vagelbud. I shall. 
Believe you me. Nothing extraordinary about it. Scratch. And then a so colossal boom. Mark my word, oh! kick him out. Yes. Nice mask. Rawr. They are how society urges us. Excuse me a moment. Miss? Yes, it's me. The trout buyer? Hmm? Oh, yes, of course. Please excuse the precautions, but perhaps we could speak somewhere in private. I think we've met before. Oh, you're... Indeed. Well, I must say, I feel reassured Albert will be in good hands. Any sign of the hunters recently? Since they attacked my servant at the market, none. All has been quiet. But I bribed a man of the temple guard. He claims there's more and more talk of Albert in the ranks. How did the guardsmen learn about your son's interests to begin with? Unfortunately, I cannot be sure Albert himself was not the source. Merely boasting about an experiment. He's careless that way. Like his father. A kind man, but a dimwit. Devoured by an Arrakis. I don't know if you've heard. Yeah. Must have traveled far and wide. Hardly. He attempted to breed them. Perhaps I should be pleased Albert adopted alchemy as his hobby. A safe one, relatively speaking. Until recently, that is. Let's get Albert. Where is he? Entertaining the guests. He's always been an outsized presence at my receptions. I preferred not to arouse any suspicions. When can we take him away? We shall have to wait until the guests have imbibed enough to notice only the goblet-laden trays. Don't fret. It won't be long. Is your son ready to go? We'll have to act quickly. Yes, I've seen to everything. Where will you take him? You're better off not knowing any details. He'll be safe, I promise. But, please, trust me. It's not the first time I've done this. I know. Thank you. How will we recognize him? He's donned a panther mask. He knew you were due to come for him. Seemed rather excited, ironically. I'm afraid he's not fully comprehended the danger he faces. As I said, he's not terribly bright. Don't worry about that. He'll fit right in with a good number of the other mages. Geralt! Let's go find him. I shall await word from you. Let's look for Albert. On a clear day, you can see no fell banners in the city walls. And then a call. Yes. mask. <laughs> Albert Vagelbud? No. <laughs> I am a black panther. <laughs> sent us, Mr. Panther. Oh, so you are. Yes, when can we leave the estate? 
Well, Mama said it would be best to wait until everyone's drunk. Besides, there'll be fireworks later, a jolly good distraction. Once they've begun, I shall slip away, saunter into the garden, we'll meet in the hedge maze. Be waiting for you there. Very well. But first, you absolutely must try the Fiorano Rosé. Absolutely. Hope Albert hasn't forgotten the reason for this whole get-together. Wanna wait in the garden? I saw a nice spot there earlier. Mark my words, I'll kill Apparently, Albert. They have to not trap that wall. I'm a Kraken! Care to sit down for a spell? Relieved to get that mask off, if only for a little. Great view from here, and there's even wine. It's been so long since I've been to a feast, ball, or reception. Amazingly pleasant change from the sewers of Novigrad. So, does this mean it's a good time to ask you about... Yes? About that mage we met earlier? Oh, Moritz. What do you want to know? How'd you meet? <sighs> Geralt, all mages know each other. Some are well over a century old. That's plenty of time to make acquaintances. In that case, when did you meet him? At a feast, long ago. He walked up and... just blatantly offered to teleport us somewhere quieter. You turn him down? Is that what you think? He actually pursued me for a while afterwards. Got the impression he doesn't exactly like you. I just think he'd love to have me as his charge, rather than his leader. See, but you're the one organizing the mage's escape from Novigrad. Sometimes I have no idea how I actually managed to bring them all together. Personal charm. That's what it's about. <laughs> Careful, that sounded like a compliment. Glad it did. Oh. Are you trying to... Someone's coming. <laughs> Is it Albert? No, just some lost guest. Shh. must be looking for his beloved. Like in that elven tale about the frog and the lark. Inchu, inchu, biag broga. Inch by inch, little frog. <laughs> Shh, let's go. Oh. I sure hope the other guests don't get drunk as quickly as I did. Sooner we get out of here, the better. <laughs> oh, no. I plan to have a good look at this famous maze of theirs first. I hear the statues there are completely, entirely... Entirely what? Newt! <laughs> come on, Geralt! Triss, wait! Geralt! Coming? Gerald, coming? Thank you. 
careful. Miss Merigold, at last! So sorry we are forced to meet under such incredibly inopportune circumstances. You can say that again. But I'm sure we'll make up for it another time. I absolutely must show you my alchemical formulae. Anyone follow you? I don't believe so. Just in case, you two switch masks. We'll go first. Geralt will follow right after. Saddled horses await in the stables. Good. Meet you there. circumstances I'd give you the full Monty. Oh, I, I'm sorry, I... Albert Vagel. Please, step away, miss. Nobility's not towards you, Count. Try anything, and you will get bruised. Hmm, doubt it. and tired, Siri collapsed in the swamp. Some peasants found her and took her to the Baron, Velen's self-appointed ruler. The warlord took the young woman in, had her nurse back to health, then sent her on her way to Novigrad. Begin to worry. Ran into some trouble. Hunters? Will they come here? No, we've got some time. But please send someone to the garden. Needs a little tidying. I shall see to it. And you must hurry. Everything said? Yes. Got your swords back from the guard. And Ingrid gave me the coin. Stunningly more, frankly. 
Excellent. So where are we gonna get away to? You? Nowhere. It's finally possible, probable even, that we can get all the mages out of Novigrad. You know where to find me if you want to say goodbye. Goodbye? What happened at the fountain? I'm sorry, I acted irresponsibly. It was the wine. <laughs> Too strong. No need to apologize. It was nothing. Yes. Nothing. Miss Marigold. We need to go. I know. Be careful.
As they say, a bar must be like a quick like talker and a witcher. Very odd pace for each man. One drink all I had. Of service. What are you serving today? Where are you scurrying to, Rich? Let's see your pass. Pass? What pass? Kind of pass confirms you ain't no mage. Can't enter or leave Novigrad without it. Why have you shut the city gates? So as we can clean it of mages, witches, and other scum that's crawled here since the war began. Aim to catch every last one of them, toss them on a flaming pyre like poxy livestock. Sorry, don't have a pass. You'll scurry no further then. Next! Hang on. How do I get one? Start by making an offering to the church. Then you'll need three pure souls to confirm... Name through. Here's his papers. What? But we... Not your concern. Back to your post. Regards from Sinky Rupert. Oh, we took care of you and Who's captain of this ship? Looking at her. I, her. That's right. I, a woman, am captain. Shocking as shit, I know. Need to get to Skellige. Not on this boat, you won't. Pay you well. The islanders live off plunder in the seas. Not willing to risk that. Ever sailed there? Listen. The Islanders attack all ships. When they hate someone, Nilfgaard, for instance, they attack him more. But truth be told, not much more. Lord did me once. Expect they wanted to see if I had captain's bollocks. 
That spot of fun gave me enough skelligan for a lifetime. That reptile gazing is don't scare me. Black ones, the Danians. Some of pay. <laughs> Chasing gorillas around the Kedwenny woods. Novigrad safe. Can it get any worse? Ooh. You captain of this tub? What's it to you? Skellige bound. Need to get there. Start swimming. Islanders, the black ones, all attack us in those waters. No one sails the route these days. Come on. Clans are ready to deal. Leave you alone if you do. Someone's done it. Gotta have. Not likely. Except maybe that daft bastard Wolverston from the Atropos. A liar, a thief, and a bugger, that one. He might have parlayed with the sea swine. Hmm. Where can I find him? In a pigsty most times. Others, the Golden Sturgeon. Ask for Flask, everyone knows him.
Back off or I'll kill you. <laughs> I'm not a fear to die. Rob every corpse that washes up on shore. Taken from a corpse ain't theft. I'm a man of the isles. I don't reap, I don't sow. The waves bring me my harvest. On the Atropos, were you? Yeah, thought the captain had a deal with you. With us? Meaning who exactly? Might have arranged something with Lugos, but crack? Nay. Clearly should have, though. Outlander ships aren't welcome in these waters. What about you? What do you seek in Skellige, eh? Agreed to meet a sorceress here. Yennefer of Vengerberg. She's supposed to be on Horn Skellig. There's a witch at Kertrolda. Croc's guest. Could be the one you're meeting. That scorn I hear in your voice. You've good ears. Folks say this witch got Croc wrapped around her finger. Orders everyone about. Word is she's vicious at it. But a hag's a hag. Seen her? Know what the sorceress looks like? Aye. Where's black and white? If not for her tits, you'd think she was a beached orca. Fact is, even those who see her for a wench would gladly push her out to sea, tits and all. Yennefer's not all bad, once you get to know her. <laughs> Take your word for it. Know the way to Kertrolda? Expect I'll find it. Head north. Then turn west towards the bay before you come to the bridge. You'll find the Jarl port site today. Your sorceress ought to be there too. Thanks. So long.
Run, Roach. Hey there. Move it. Come on, Roach. a number along this road for 20 years and you think they got off maybe try it stop to me grand at two yippee the witcher killed the monster one of them players taking me you're a fool what brings it to me wouldn't mind a look at your wares Farewell. Sparks, glistening. Don't you feel it was in the blade? Listen, maybe he's looking to get hired on a ship. Me trusty axe. Ah, not that young. For something beautiful, though. This blade's not worth shite if a weak arm's swinging it, eh? Brand those swords, but I prefer me trusty axe. Wow. 
Come on. Let's go. Kids like you. Beware of bandits in the hills. Open from the inside. I recognize your type hey. a mile away. And then smack him in the head. Oh, 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 oh. Don't want no stinky husband. Greetings. Greetings. Mind if I have a look at your herbs? Fare thee well. That's it, Roach. Roach.
Show me what you got. Oh, good you're here. So, what'll it be? Will you help old Nidus find a black pearl for his wife? I'd like it done already. Humidity's unkind to my bones. They've started creaking. Let's go. But get ready for them to creak some more. Not likely to find pearls where it's dry. True. But I survived worse during the war. At Rosrock, we fought waist deep in the swamp and. Ah, wasted my breath. History don't mean a wit to youngsters. Come on, Pearl Grounds aren't far now. Quite the spring in your step for a man your age. Uh -huh. Have you seen me in my prime? 30 miles a day I did in full dress. This is the place. They say dive down here and you'll see the oyster beds all around. Problem is, not all hold pearls, and the black ones are a real rarity. But search long enough and you're sure to find one. Ah, so I'm supposed to do the diving? Well, you see, I've been in the infantry all my life, so I'm not one for water. And my lungs ain't what they used to be, so, uh, yeah. Huh. Customer's always right. Why not hit your way?
signs. It calls. Damn it. Splashing must have attracted them. You all right? Uh, nicked in a few places. But if I pull through after sod, I'll survive this too. So, any luck? Black Pearl, just like you wanted. Beautiful. Rare. Like my letter. Well, as Constable Natalis would say, you've earned a medal. Or better yet, a week's leave in a brothel. Coin will be fine. Oh, yes. Um, <clears throat> about that. Uh, listen, I, I feel right foolish, but, well, I, I didn't bring any coin with me. Wise. Wasn't it? Even the high roads are dangerous now. Not what they once were. We'll meet in Novigrad. I'll pay you to the last copper. Foot soldiers on her. I'm fine. I really showed him, didn't I? Seen sirens around here before? Aye, of course. They fly in from Unvik, the isle cursed by the gods. Damn shame beasties. But enough chatter. My brother awaits. Thanks for the help, stranger. Your gods grant ye health.
Last night was... I leave my home to if Chalva dies. Mind if I interrupt? Nay. My prayers are in vain anyways. Here you're having trouble with a curse. I... I am. Look. See it lying there. A horse head on the pole. That's... A nithing. Kind of curse seen this before. They're nothing to scoff at, can bring misfortune, even death. Aye, and the name carved upon it is Tialva, my firstborn. Oh, he's feverish, grows weaker by the day. I fear I'll bury him before the next moon. Try to lift the curse myself, but. I can help you, one of two ways. First, I can try to convince whoever put up the nithing to lift the curse themselves. Second, I can deflect the curse back on whoever cast it by writing their name on the shaft. Either way, need to know who's behind this. But I don't trouble no one. Don't know a soul who'd wish it upon me. Mm hmm. Guess I gotta investigate. There's truth to that blather by the ice giant. Curse. Name carved on the shaft. Tialva. Transfresh. Hmm. Might want to look around some. What is this? Woman's shawl. Distinctive pattern. Distinctive smell. Too many scents. Can't follow my nose any further. Need to ask around about the shawl. You, Odin? I am. Hear about me, Sonny? Let's talk about my reward first. It's a lot. I need to borrow from Kid. But you have it. Won't spare no coin for me, boy. Where should I look for your son? East of here, midst the ruins of the fortress. He went there with some rogues from Pharaoh. Met him at the tavern. They filled his head with nonsense about some treasure. I said, Sonny, Pharaoh folk are liars to a man. You shouldn't fraternize with them. But he knew better. How'll I recognize him? All I know is he doesn't listen to his father. Pretty typical for his age. His name's Olve. A cheerful lad. A bit of a lisp. Nothing special about his looks. Except last I saw him, he was wearing a yellow tunic. Lovely. None other like it in the village. Got it from me a year back, on his birthday. That ought to do it. I'll look around. No promises, though. Oh, what a Hmm. You've come a long way. Hmm. Well, what is it? Greetings. 
Greetings. See ya. Fare thee well. Just don't go faster and focus. Greetings, white hair. Uh oh. Aye? What's it you need? Any chance you know who wore this shawl? Of course. Yona, our herbalist, lives there, in that hut. Oh, she'll be pleased you found it for her. Yeah, real pleased. Hemdal watches over clan Priersek. The blood of Whoa, kings. what a sword. Found your shawl near Lothar's house. By the knife you put up there. How did you know? Had a hunch. Thanks for confirming it. You know Tjalv has got one foot in the grave. Good. That bastard should never have been born. Me, I was to be Lothar's bride. But he cast me aside for that flounder. Getting his comeuppance now. Him and that whole plowing family. You'd kill a child out of jealousy? Are you serious? It is not jealousy, but dignity that matters here. Ten years we lived side by side. Ten years. I cooked for him, washed his breeches, shared me bed. And he abandoned me with nary a word. The whole village laughed. Stupid bent Yona let herself be had. And no, I have not been had. Nor have I forgot. Want you to lift the curse. I mean it. Fine, I'll do it. But I've my terms. Lothar's to renounce his son and come back to me. I'll be sure to tell him. But I think we both know what his answer will be. I could have married a continental man. You know who placed the knife in? Old friend of yours, Yona. I might have guessed. Jealous bitch! Can't stand to see others happy. So? Will she lift the curse? Yeah, sure. All you gotta do is renounce your family and go back to her. Nay, never! My wife, my son, I'd strip them of honor. Condemn them to poverty. You've gotta break the spell, Witcher. Let her die! You might deserve to be punished, but not this way. Fine, I'll do it. Thanks be to the gods. Don't bring the gods into it. This is between two human beings. So, 
Did it work? It did. Your son should recover soon. And Yona will die. Thanks, Witcher. A thousand times over. My son's dearest of all to me. I couldn't abide it if he died. Your reward. Will you eat with us before moving onward? No. Not in the mood. There's truth to that blather by the Ice Giant. Could you tell a trout from a charm? Can you toss an axe? Uh -oh. My brother can. Better watch it. Whittle was finishing a fleet in the wolves came. Remember last year? No one is horse flying right off that cliff. Speedy Oswald, they call me. What do you want from me? Quick. For something beautiful. Ah, it's you. First outlander to seek a place in the hero's pursuits. Will you ride here too? There's room for you if you want. Yeah, yeah, I'll ride. Might even win. If your arse is as tough as your talk, who knows? Listen up, folks! Race is about to start! Running for the glory, the great mum or Speedy Oswald, Lonely Boy Svan, and Geralt of Rivia! your brazos and hang on to your saddles! Randy took that one. Right on for Freya! No one can outrace Speedy Oswald! Ha <laughs> ha! Keep your distance, vagrant. Can I race Speedy Oswald? Haha! <laughs> Keep your distance, vagrant. as you said it would be. You won. Glory's yours, as is the prize. Come on, Roach. Everything fresh as a day. Come closer, stranger. Swords on his back. Give me no choice.
But finding me proved no simple task, for having fallen afoul of Novograd's underworld buzzes, I'd disappeared. Yet Geralt soon discovered my whereabouts, a cell in the dungeon of the Temple Guard. With the help of our friends, Geralt managed to free me. Good thing, too, for indeed I knew what had happened to Ciri. Sadly, she was no longer in Novograd. Pursued by bandits, then cornered by the Temple Guard, she had disappeared in a flash of light and a gust of heat. Where to? This I did not know. As Yennefer of Bengerberg told it, there had been a magic explosion in Skellige. Related to Ciri's reappearance, it had destroyed a vast swath of forest. Geralt set out for the Isles to join the sorcerers and seek further clues of Ciri's whereabouts.
Get up. I battled in worse weather than this. That's it, Roach. Fair fight. Didn't stand a chance. Yeah, give us a minute, John. I'll just uh Yep. 